I welcome members to the 19th meeting in 2014 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee and as always ask members to turn off their mobile phones. Apologies have been received from Stuart McMillan, in whose place I welcome Bruce Crawford, and from Margaret McCulloch, in whose place I welcome Mary Fee. Agenda item one, instrument subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Registers of Scotland Fees Order 2014 draft, nor on the Land Registration, etc. Scotland Act 2012 Incidental Consequential and Transitional Order 2014 draft, nor on the Public Appointments and Public Bodies, etc. Scotland Act 2003 Treatment of Revenue Scotland, a specified authority, order 2014 draft. With regard to the Registers of Scotland Fees Order 2014, the Committee may wish to note that this instrument was withdrawn and subsequently relayed by the Scottish Government in order to correct several drafting errors and minor points which were identified by our legal advisers on behalf of the Committee. Excuse me now. Uh, I, I just note... Uh, in relation to uh, the policy note, and I'm not addressing policy issues in raising this point, uh, that the financial effects, the statement is made, the instrument has no financial effects. Now, while a, a very brief look at the policy would uh, confirm that it has likely very minimal, I feel uncomfortable about the use of the word no. I can identify that, for example, given you've added a body, there might be travel costs to go and meet candidates. Um, there's unlikely to be any salary implications. And I think a better phrasing would be it has minimal financial effects or the new responsibilities can be addressed within existing resources. I just think it's over-egging the pudding to say no financial effects. In this case, it will be likely the policy committee will look at it to be very, very small indeed, but I would prefer to see a more uh, focused wording. Thank you for those comments. Can I just for the record register that that is the Registers of Scotland's fees order? No. Yes. It isn't. It is the public appointments. Thank you very much. That's absolutely fine. Thank you. Is the committee otherwise content with these instruments, please? Okay. Thank you. Agenda item two is instruments subject to negative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Children's Hearing Scotland Act 2011 Supplementary Provision Order 2014 SSI 2014 137. Is the committee content with that instrument, please? Thank okay. you. Agenda item three, instruments sub not subject to any parliamentary procedure. The Children and Young People Scotland Act 2014, Commencement Number 1 and Transitory Provisions Order 2014, SSI 2014-131. Article 2.1 of the order commences section 98 for the purposes of commencing paragraph 2.1 of Schedule 5 to the Children and Young People Scotland Act 2014 on the 28th of June 2014. The reference to paragraph 2.1 of Schedule 5 should not have been included in column 3 of the table in the schedule to the order. This is a superfluous provision which purports to commence section 98 again for the same purpose with effect from the 1st of August 2014. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the orders to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground as it contains a minor drafting error? Agreed. We do. Thank you very much indeed. That, I think, completes the agenda. And if there's nothing else to say, I close this meeting and we'll welcome you back next week.